Hi, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision and welcome to a new season of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Uh, we just closed the first season because, you know, it's filled with 14 videos already. So I decided let's open another one and uh, eventually fill this up with even more stuff. So I'm super excited. I got some new tricks in the hand. So let's do this. All right, so this is the new stuff I got inspired and, uh, you know, from Pinterest and uh, that was like a 3D effect going on, which is uh, really looks like a ghost. It's just, you know, transparent. It looks like glass. It looks like some uh, thing uh, washing away in the background. So this one actually needs some. It's done with the blend tool, so I'm going to show how it's done. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, select the text. Uh, I'm going to select or select your logo. I went with the Oswald font. Uh, you can see right here, Oswald. It's a free typeface, so uh, actually I'm gonna do it uh, with that. After you type in your name, basically I expand it and I um, go to Object, Expand. Actually, I won't explain, I'm just gonna show you so what I'm doing. Right-click on Group and fr from here you can put, put the text wherever you want it. Uh, and however you want it. From here, I'm gonna scale this down. I mean up. Control G or right click, you know, and uh, where's the group? Right click and you don't have the group. Anyways, just press Control and G and it's gonna group it. It won't show it all the time. Okay, uh, this is the first step. Now we need to go to the stroke. So as you can see, uh, not in every case run stroke and fill. In my case, I'm only on the fill. And this thing is the fill. We need to uh, switch it to stroke. So you need to press this button. So it's gonna swap it from uh, fill to stroke. You're gonna click on the stroke and now it's gonna stroke to be on, you know, on the top. If you have some uh, fill uh, color going on, just click on the none. So it's gonna disappear. Then click on the stroke. So it's gonna be on the top. So we work, uh, we can change the colors later on. Uh, okay, main idea is to create a new copy of this, press and hold ALT and just drag it. Now we need to scale this down, press and hold SHIFT plus ALT and scale it. I'm gonna scale it uh, to this proportion and I'm going to place it actually somewhere around here. Let me check where I placed, okay I placed it there. It's the same, uh, so basically in the example I uh, didn't scale down, I just place it somewhere around here. But in this case, I'm going to do it like this. This one, in this example, as you can see, the blend option is like, uh, which is in the back, it's like scale down and small. And uh, it gives you this uh, really pers really nice perspective effect. I'm gonna try something new out and see how it's gonna work with this kind of approach. Uh, I selected some nice colors. You also can go to, what is that, let's say, coolers.co so I got inspired got some nice colors actually this uh, I'm gonna try it out with this it's pretty basic but looks good and uh, you can go to the trendy colors it's uh, it's filled with really nice colors in here so uh, I highly recommend yo wait a sec look at that I'm gonna go with this control V and now I got the colors I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, I'm thinking of what to make blue, what to make pink. I gotta make the text pink and the background blue. And the, okay, this blue is kind of strong. I'm gonna test it. Um, I'm gonna click on. So basically, if you wanna copy the color, just click on the eyedropper tool and click one of the colors. It's gonna appear here in the swatches. Go to the swatches and click on the fill and long click on the fill and just drag it here to the swatches. As you can see, it appeared there. I also got to create a new uh, folder. Here's the new folder, new group, sorry. Uh, blue, pink. So it's uh, here is the new group. I got, I'm just going to drag this color to the new group. So I know this one is separated and we're now working with uh, different colors. I'm going to also copy this color and long press and just drag it here where we work with this. So I don't need this. Eventually I'm going to also try it out with uh, this. I'm just going to drag it here. I have some more reference. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to recolor this, just press on the stroke. These things always move. So for example, we work with that image. Let's say I click on this background image, which is fill. So as you can see here, it switched to fill. It showed the color. I deselected this image and the options remain the same. So you need to back, go back. So basically I select this, which I need to edit, recolor it. As you can see, the fill is on the top click on the stroke so the stroke is going to be on the top you go back to the swatches and select the color which is a blue and now it recolored it I'm gonna select this one and uh, recolor it to pink okay I also gonna recolor the background so I'm gonna select uh, you know this color and from I'm gonna switch it to stroke to feel I'm gonna swap it from here from this arrow and they just swap to fill. I'm gonna select the rectangle tool. I'm just gonna do this. Also press Control plus S plus left bracket. You can see the shortcut right here left in the bottom. So uh, yeah, the blue is super bright. I gotta admit that. I'm gonna need to double click and change something on it because it's like super annoying. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go uh, and diffuse it with some more. Um, mm, this is kind of ugly, but I'm gonna check how it's gonna work out with uh, the blend. All right, so we have the background right now. It's more lighter. A very important step that you need to do right now before just jumping into the blend tool. I know you know the options and all that stuff, but the, the main important thing is to consider when I move this, it's not on the top, it's under, okay? And basically this is on the top. We need to move this on the top first because it's gonna mess up the effect. So I'm gonna press and hold Control Shift plus right bracket as you can see down here in the left corner and now it just placed right on top now we can create the effects i'm gonna select both go to object blend make as you can see it created a copy between uh, the two layers between the two texts we're gonna increase the numbers go and double click on blend tool Select specified steps, enter, I don't know, 600, click OK, and it's gonna add a ton of uh, copies. And this looks uh, really on point, uh, really dominant. You know, it comes from, uh, you know, it goes in perspective and just shoots out and becomes really big. Uh, I definitely should change this pink because it starts to annoy me and adjust, you know, the colors and see what we're gonna get. But uh, also, I'm gonna show you another trick then. You also can manage the uh, whole perspective of this thing. So you just need to double click. Let's say you wanna change, um, I don't know, the back, like this point, like this area to move it, to change the perspective. You just double click on this text and you just move this and the whole perspective changes. My case, I like this. I think I'm gonna move it here. It looks like a train. I don't know how it looks like, but it looks sick. And whoa, this looks even better. Yeah, so uh, yeah, mainly this is how you this is how you work with this effect. Uh, again, you double click. You also can change the stroke. As you can see down here, we still got the stroke we still can edit. I still can add some different color nuances and uh, get out some different results. Okay, so mainly this was it. This is how you work with the blend tool on the next level, if you will. Uh, this is stroke in three dimension. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos as well. Like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye bye.